like a hell cut. Hey guys, before this video starts, please be sure to stick to the end because I will be showing you the best way to farm out uniques, okay? So just stick around to the end and I that that'll be when the that's be when the unique me that's so that is when I'll show you how to farm out uniques. So yeah. Now let's get on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the 18th episode of my Minecraft Dungeons Let's Play. In this episode, we are going to be doing Soggy Swamps. I, so I want to do all of these. So I'm going to do all of these, all of the normal levels, and then I'm probably going to do one long, one long episode at near the end, doing all the secret levels. So yeah. So I've done that one actually has already done for me, but I've done this one. So let so I've done Creeper Woods. Let's go on with Soggy Swamps now. Um, do I want to go here or here? Let's go for Adventure Four. I think that in is. Yeah, Adventure Four. Difficulty. Although saying that I might I might do the I might do Soggy I can't remember what it's called Soggy Cave I think it is which is which is the secret level that you get off this I think I might do that one after after this one because this one shouldn't be too long although there is other there is a boss battle in this one so yeah let's go on with this. As you can see I've got quite an OP sword and he's like my sword like level 60 or something. Oh I think it's a cutlet actually. But yeah, it's level 60 at the moment which is uh, slightly slightly powerful slightly quite a bit powerful for this le this level. Oh should probably run now. Yeah, so I also have an enchantment on my on my armor, which means it's called like la let me just show you. It's called last shout, which means I use all my enchantments if I'm about to die. So yeah, I might put this on instead so I can actually run. So what so what does the cloak the ghost cloak does? It means I can run for enemies without hitting like getting stopped by them. Oh, it looks like I can, I can heal. So. If you watch normally, I will I will run at an enemy, but I won't have to go through it. With the with the ghost cloak activated, I can run through it. And with the ghost cloak and the speed boots activated, they are the most they are the best. They are the best two artifacts to have if you want to make like an easy escape from a, a sticky situation. Which is why I think they're best. Those two are the best ones to pair with a last shout because it just means you can. Oh, that was the worst. That was the worst TNT I think I've ever thrown. So most of my gears are upgraded, so I've still got the Soul Bow, but it's got different enchantments on it. It's got Rapid Fire and Fuse Shot. Rapid Fire makes it basically just it's what it says on the tin, it's what makes it shoot faster. And Fuse Shot makes it so it, the, it, it, the bomb, it, some of the arrows will explode. And Color says Sharpness, which just does extra damage, and Exploding, which means that the it will enchant, it will have enemies um, it would have enemies explode when they die, basically. And then this one's got soul speed. Oh, here we go. Soul speed, which does. I think it every time I collect some souls, it will. It will give me extra speed. I think so. Yeah. Oh my. That is an improvement, apparently. Okay, let's just run quickly. Oh well, it looks like I died. Come 
let's just run past some of these people, shall we? Right, let's, let's we can pick up this witch, shall we? And the good thing about the last shout is it will um, it will do it no matter what the cooldown is on. So we're gonna die here. No it. But I got hopefully it counter those two thing two columns that I destroyed. This does good. I maybe have to do a bit more fighting and less running away. It will take it will take a bit longer, but it's always it's always best not to try not to die. Let's go around here, I think. You always want to try and take out the witches first because they, they throw like harming potions, which are, can really get annoying and get in the way. Oh, great, this is not going well. Oh, so whoa! Soul speed is, speeds me up quite significantly. Might as well pick this up. Um, Looks like we've got a bow dropped. I will have to go and have a look at that in a minute. I think before I do the boss, I will have to look at some of my enchants and gear and see how I, if any of it will be upgraded. Oh, nice. It's quite, well, it's completely free of any monsters. Nice, a bunch of arrows. Oh, there's still one left, is there? Uh, this might this might give me a good chance to look at my items. So 53, 56. That's gonna have to get salvaged. Okay, and then we have six. To the, oh, that's quite good. And I can salvage that piece that has soul speed on it. Okay, so it has speed synergy thorns and burning. I think I'll be burning. And it has final shout. I think I'll do final shout to be honest. And then the the bow can be salvaged of course a uh, few shots and maybe multi-shot or gravity i think i'll go multi-shot there we go perfect ah oh, it's one off okay that's unfortunate all right let's go and get this last cauldron shall we run over here. Perfect. Okay, a bunch of zombies. Zombies aren't too bad. And because they explode, they do like... Okay, I might stay here because I know there's an Enderman on the other side of there. So I don't really want to go after the Enderman yet. Until I've got like full health. So yeah. Right, let's activate this as well. My health potion to respawn, or there we go. Um, recharge, I think the word is actually. And of course, there just isn't a 
Oh no, there's, there's a couple of enchanted witches. Oh, and there is an Enderman apparently. Enderman, perfect, but right when I'm very really low. Run, 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 run. Drink a healing potion. This is about the worst time to have an Enderman on me. And there we go, that is the Enderman dealt with. Oh, well great, that's uh, the end of that round run, I guess. Uh, I'll try and get to the same place and I'll uh, see you on time at the same place then, I think. Okay guys, we're back at the same place. And so let's go on with this, shall we? Uh, I probably won't do any exploring, I'll probably just complete this because I won't do most, I'll do most of the powering up outside. Now, if I just show you where's, where's a good place to get the powering up, where's the fastest place like to farm out these uniques and these big weapons, then I can then I, then I can use this powering up outside, most of the powering up outside, and it won't be as boring for you guys who have to, I think you probably don't want to watch, sit there and watch you go through a level like five times just to get a good weapon. I've learned, I, I need to have still all three of my lives here and that's and that, that is because I've decided that the best way to, to be able to complete this would be to take it slowly and like picking off the monsters one, one at a time. Again, I've got this mystery armor and it's not, it does not, it's not a good, not like good level but it looks, looks kind of cool. But then the phone, phone down like a fancy slot in the game because look, it's like, it's like different colors and stuff but it's not like good like five levels behind what I already have so yeah so, so I'm going to try and get through as quickly as possible without dying anymore because I'm probably going to need all that health for the, the final bo the boss at the end of this level because there is a boss at the end of this level. In fact, eh, let's go back and get that chest over here, shall we? I mean, it's there and it's, it's free and it's a sob on the way. But the best strategy is to get anything that's on the way of the objective. Get get that stuff. And not... Well, actually, that depends, that depends what you're doing. If you're, if you're playing the game for the first time, you, you'd, you'd want to explore. And if you think it for the first time, then you can go and watch my... My... Uh, let's play on it. What level is that? 53. Mm, I guess... I'll keep it there. And I, I want to use the fireworks for now. So yeah, if, if you're playing the game for the first time now, you'll want to go and watch my, my, like, from the start of this series, because I have been through every level in, in depth at, at the start, when I was on the normal difficulty, the default difficulty, so yeah. This is not less in depth, less in depth view of everything and more uh, of what is like at high difficulty and I'm going to show you some sort of better farming methods now. now. Now I know what the game is, what the game is all about and best how to play better. 
and I'm also on a higher difficulty because if you're farming out unique and better weapons you want to stay on a higher difficulty on a higher difficulty like apocalypse or adventure mode because then you get out them on a higher power higher power level. But it's always nice to have some free emeralds because the more and also yeah, it's always good to get the emeralds. The more emeralds you have, the more you'll have to trade with the villagers back at the camp. And the villagers back at the camp can give you some quite good loot as well, so yeah. See, if you take it nice and more well, nice and steady, I'll say slowly because you don't really want to take it slowly. But nice and steady, then then the monsters will come at you at a steady, a steady rate instead of rushing you at once, and you'll be able to take more better, like more control, with more control. And sometimes here actually there is an obsidian chest with a whole bunch of enemies apparently. I mean, the only part of this level that can be difficult is the boss at the end. Might as well throw the A at them. Anything useful I have at the moment? No, of course not. I will take that TNT on the other hand though. boss now, luckily, so. Also, if you do want to get some good loot, the bosses, always, the bosses always have some, generally, gen generally the bosses, the boss loot you get is all normally pretty really good. Okay then, so, ready to throw that there. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Now run. This is going to be quite a hard boss fight, probably. This isn't going by very well at the moment. Oh, and look, looky here. I have died, of course. At least it gives me back to full health. Uh, let's use this quickly. Nice swift, that's not way too small. Oh, 
can't block the edge <laughs> now. Yes, this, this boss fight is uh, slightly harder than it was before, but yeah. I don't know why they didn't go after me then, but... Are they glitched or are they stuck or something? I don't know. So yeah, with this boss fight, so I want to run in and out. And that is the last hell, uh, last pool I think it's for my acting there. Oh, we won't put it down to the side of his health. There we go, that's a third of its health down. Uh, might start here a little bit. Hey, it's doing quite a lot of damage to me now. Let's stay in here, shall we? Oh, no, that. No, we don't need to anymore. That was a pretty nice amount of damage right there. Maybe it has a slightly less defense now. It probably does slightly more damage. Lucky me. What my, my arrows if I left them over? Oh no, no, no. This isn't going well. Oh, that was a nice one. Great, I died again. No surprises there, to be honest. Ah, oh, that was the worst use of my... No, uh, why couldn't I have why couldn't I have, have that come out a bit earlier? Like when I actually needed it. Spell. Come on, take the spell, please. Not really the worst use of the health potion ever, but yeah. Okay, it's about down to half health now. Come on, we need to take it out. I don't think this, this boss will be as hard as the fight is turning out to be. Okay, run over here. Might have to wait here for a bit just to make sure that I the health potion is now activated, raise activate, so that's... I have one life left after this, so... Just run, just run. Oh, that, that was a lucky save right there. I do like that chain reaction thing. Okay, right, heal. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to do this. We're doing slightly better than dodging everything now. Yeah, 
No, that did not work. I'm about to run and get an apple. Yes, I will. I'm just gonna have to run away because I'm a coward. Oh no, 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 I haven't got any arrows left, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Hopefully something drops some arrows soon. I this could be in a bit of a sticky situation. Okay, wait for that health potion to be ready. Right now. That was a nice shot right there. Okay, now we have to wait for our health potion to react to recharge, I mean, not react I think. I think this is like the safest place to hide. And there we go, health is back. Okay, and you are ready. Okay, Wars was down to two third, like a third to a third of its health now. And there we go, that's down to a below a third of its health now. Probably might want to wait for yeah, I'll wait for a health potion now. I don't want to die now. I'd like to boost up one light left, luckily. What if some of these mobs like mobs like us take like no not no stun stunage or not bad? So yeah, right, let's uh be run around here. That was a nice shot. I'm gonna stay away. Yeah, let's wait until this health potion is regen chat. It's back or like re not regen fight. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That was the worst shot I think I've ever done. It's all about doing it slowly and carefully. Okay, let's let's leave that husk, shall we? Let's slow down. Okay, right. I think it's time to use one of them again. Come on, help potion. Perfect, another health potion. Oh no, that wasn't a very good arrow right there. Oh, there's some arrows right there. I really need Let's just run around right, right around here. Our oh, last chance, so this is going to be uh, interesting. 
say the least. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Oh, we have arrows now. Nice. And there you go. That is that boss finished. Let's go and see Our what. Archilogus potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time the before the witches recover supply. from this blow. Well done. Let's go and see what artifact we're going to get now then. See, to get the best level or power levels on everything, I'd have to switch all of my current accessories out like that, and that means it's going up to 58. But I don't want you, okay. Soul Harvest, I'm not very really useful. Still not very really useful. Okay, so I don't want this, and I don't want this. Another one of them. It's an upgrade, so it's always useful. Right, so we can switch out with that and salvage that. Why did I just do that? Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. Okay, so let's go over here, shall we? And can't trade. Right, so I will sort out my stuff and I'll see you once we're ready to go in. Once we are in level, so this is the best level for doing. Um, for getting uniques in, okay? So I'll, I'll see you once we're in the level when I finish loading everything up. So I'll see you then. Okay, we are back, and let me just change up my artifacts quickly. Okay, let's switch, switch these around. Let's go. So this is Sobby. Sobby Swamp. So no, not Sobby Swamp, Sobby, Sobby Caves. And this is a secret level. If you don't have it already, you want to lock it on soggy caves, on the soggy swamps, and you, it's, it's a secret, so it's a secret level. I've forgotten where you have to go, but maybe I will show you how to get all the secret levels on a different, if I make, if I make a new character, I can show you how to get all the secret levels. I mean, I've already shown you how to get all the secret levels. Basically, this is the most efficient way to get the most efficient way to get secret uh, uh, uniques. So you have to go through that part, and I'll show you which, which um, artifacts I'm using to defend in a minute. Once I've just finished killing all these guys off. So you want to farm for the swiftness boots preferably a higher level than what i am but swiftness boots are whatever level you are and then the ghost cloak at whatever level you are as well but i don't think you can get this until adventure mode i don't think so you have to be in adventure mode to get a ghost cloak so if you're on default mode you just use the swiftness boots and if you're on, if it, then, and if you're on adventure mode or higher you can use the ghost cloak this one just speeds up your movement speed of course and this one lets you pass through any enemies and allows you to like, so that basically like move in there, enemies like light are not there and absorb some some of the damage and then you want to use a i haven't got this but you want to get like this which is the evocation robe because it has minus 20 percent 25 percent artifact artifact cooldown and you also want to get the cooldown reduction enchantment on it but i don't have i wasn't lucky enough to get that so i have to wait for a bit before my enchantments finish okay so let's go on with this shall we so there are ways to skip there are ways to skip the okay there are ways to skip the these bits but you but for that you'll need a feather i, I guess i'll show you i don't currently have it unfortunately so i have to actually do these Let's just run away here, shall we? Uh -huh. 
And I died already. Great. Not a good start. Not a good start. Okay, let's pick up the witches at least first, I think. So you're going to try and go for the witches first when you're doing these, because they will like, stand at the back and throw a massive like, sort of splash kind of potion at you. And that will take up quite a lot of area, where, you don't, uh, where as you can see here, you don't have much area to move about in, so you want to take up the witches first, so they can't take out any of your... any of your... I'll take up any of your lack of area. So for this one, you just want to. So for this puzzle, I actually know how to do these now. You just want to spam. So go left, right. Oh no, that's bad. That's wrong. Left, right, left, right, left, and there you go. That is this one finished. Now we just wait for it to actually unlock, which is annoyingly slow. So that's the first one done. And so basically, what you want to do, you want to do both of both the side levels here to get through to here. And so if you go into this level now, I normally start with the left one and then go to the right one afterwards. Okay, so go here. There's like so many zombies in this one so far. Now they have fun to spawn quickly. And there are witches on this one, right. Right, so just run around, 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 and take up you. Throw you over there, that's probably do the most damage right there. Of course, it does like absolutely numb. I was got in the wrong place. And there we go. Now for this one, you want to mess about with them until you have forgotten how to well, how to right. So you want to mess about with them until you have. Uh, let me just get to it. Oh, okay. Well, you, well, in that case, you just have to mess about with them. But you want to get mess about with them until. The one from the one furthest from the end, is, the, not this, not the one at the end, but the second one from the end is down. And then there's a special like sort of code. They have like a special pattern of um, button presses you have to put in. But I just got lucky that time. And then this is a guaranteed obsidian chest right here. I just put them on. This is a guaranteed obsidian chest right here. Hey, I've got. I've never had these before. The Maulers. Yeah. Let's see, let's have a look at them, Joe. Hey, should we... Hmm, might try them out, actually. Hmm. I know Radiance is quite good on these. And let's go for... Sharpness. Let's see, shall we, how well we do. And then, and then I'm just going to complete the level because, you know. Right, let's quickly re-equip these. Okay, let's go. Hang on. These need to be switched over. Hey there. Let's we find some enemies to test these out on, I think. Of course, there's like no enemies around here. Okay, let's go. powerful for like healing I think hmm, I might keep the, these ones actually in my inventory and if I need any healing I'll switch them quickly oh no hang on right so this is the oh, let's just throw that because we won't be needing it and then the end to this level is actually just over here. 
he run over here. There we, there we go. That is how to, that is that level done. As I said, I won't be exploring every part of every level, but that is the quickest way, or one of the most efficient ways to farm out uniques because that's a guaranteed obsidian chest every time, and the level isn't isn't even that long. So yeah, remember what I said: ghost cloak and speed boots. Well, let's see what we get out of this, shall we? And it is a totem of reject. Always very welcome in my books. Let's put you on there, shall we? In fact, we, we, can, we can... We don't need that anymore. There we go. I'm just going to run and let's spend some of these... Oh, I, can't, I don't even have enough to do that one, so... See, there's more of this mystery armor, I have no idea. And a scythe, still not useful apparently. There we go. And thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.